Hi everyone. I want to show you all my little goodies that I got. Uh, this one is from Dollar General and it's a coloring book. I didn't expect to find anything there. Um, it was the first time in this particular store. And this is the cover. This is the back. But then you can take this off and it's a really beautiful looking coloring book. And what it is inside is wallpaper. And it shows you from 1930s to, to 2014. Oh, I'm sorry, 1730, I'm reading upside down, to 2014. So here are some of the um, histories of the wallpaper and here it starts out with 1730 on this page and you color it and then as you go along it shows has the furniture in with the wallpaper for that year And it goes along. Notice the TV. And the furniture is changing. And then in the back, it has the colors that you could color it that were in style, in trend for this particular year. So in 1730, these are the colors. And then on the other side, it was 2014, and these were the color trend trendy colors at the time. So it gives you all the different colors that you could use and make it make the pages exactly how they were at that particular time. So I thought this was a really interesting find because I've never seen anything like it. And um, so this is called, this is called the Wallpaper Coloring Book. And this was $3. And then, I went to the Dollar Tree and I found um, uh, some magnetic little metal tins. You can keep all kinds of little goodies in here. Uh, safety pins, regular pins. So I want to try these out. Then I bought a for my for my books, my journals I'm going to make, um, a crossword puzzle. So this was from the dollar store. So I'm going to cut these out and put them in. And of course in the back it has the answers. And this was the dollar. Then I found the graft paper for a dollar. And I'm going to also put these in my books, my journals. Then I bought, to store some things, file folders from the dollar store. And you get 10 in a pack for a dollar. And they're pretty sturdy uh, folders. Then I found this particular item, which... I just bought one to try to see if it's going to fall apart. Um, and it's to keep some of my little fine papers in. And you get two in a package. And it has these, like a little sliding zipper up in the front. And it has a little pocket inside. And it's plastic. So you get two of those. And then I went to Walmart and I just bought... One day I bought um, safety pins, little tiny 
gold safety pins that I needed. Then I had gone to Michael's, it was probably another day, and I found on sale, these were on sale, the paper um, bags for Halloween, and then the um, stickers that were litter, little animals, little insects, um, ants, and spiders, toads, and so forth. Those were kind of neat. Then I went to Hobby Lobby and I bought a paper mache uh, planter, which I will eventually show you how I cover this planter. Okay, because I've done this before. And so I found one there. And this is the only place that I could find a planter with paper, made out of paper mache. Then I found some ribbon flowered plain this is cotton and then this is the beige and this is the white and the flowers and then the green leaves then um, I found these little trinkets I found these little leather trinkets And then these other little, cute little trinkets. And while I was there, I happened to run across the materials they had and I couldn't resist. These are like um, stickers like train uh, tickets and stickers and all kinds of um, goodies. Mostly, I think, for trains or buses. Then I found the material I had been looking for. It goes with my napkins and some paper I have. Thought this was really pretty. Then I found another one, and sometimes I cover my books with um, the cloth versus just paper. Um, another one. These are um, cigar boxes, which I thought were kind of interesting. Then one day at Ross, I found another scissors. I think I might have showed you this scissors, so sorry if I did. Okay, so then I went to um, Tuesday morning and I found a metal tin. some little envelopes and the funny thing about these envelopes is that 
I was home and I had watched some shows and I had just been to Hobby Lobby and I saw a lady that bought a couple of these and I ran and I bought some. So I thought that was kind of funny. Anyway, I found some stickers. I thought these were really cute. Um, I don't think I have any paper that goes with this, but that's fine. I'm going to make my own journals and stick them in. So uh, it won't be coordination there with the paper. Then I found these other stickers. And these are puffy stickers. And actually these do go with this. Just the paper we can't find. Like here's the pink house and then here's the pink house and the pink flower. flower. Then I found these other stickers some of them are wood, some of them are paper, some material, cloth. Then I found some more paper stickers and I think I want to open it to show you because I think these are really pretty. I don't buy these too often, this particular one. Here are the stickers. Some butterflies. Some more butterflies. Plant. Butterflies. Go your own way. There's a bird. Love. Some more flowers. Some numbers. Some words. A heart. Feathers, numbers, Some more birds and numbers. Some more leaves, a lot of pink flowers. Oh, one purple flower. Life is good. Sometimes green, one more leaves, all kindness. So 
Oh, I thought that was a lot in the bag. I think that's, um, you get 30 paper stick, um, cutouts. Oh, that was really cute. Next, I found a bow bunny, um, stamps. And I thought these were really nice because I had been looking for the butterfly stamps. And I particularly like this one because it, it shows a multiple of butterflies flying upward. So I thought that was really pretty. Then I found a... Another um, stencil, and um, I thought this was kind of cute. They were they're children, little size and the big size. Can't see their heads, but. Then I found some little charms, and I can open this package up for you. Some really cute ones in here. And here they are. There's a. Some of these are so tiny. And I guess in these particular ones, this might go in the center. Or on the top like that. Maybe just this way. And these, although you can put these little round ones on this also. So I thought those were really cute. Then I found, and I think I showed you this, but I'm going to show you again because I think they're so pretty. Here are these glass beads that um, I happened to see on YouTube. And then I ran to the store and bought these. So um, this is the number. And I thought these were really pretty. So I'll use those. Then I found these little teeny weeny little stickers. Not stickers, I'm sorry. They're little charms. They're butterflies. Little tiny little butterflies. I'm going to use on my journals. Then I bought this because actually I have a another um, uh, cutter that, that cuts the paper, but I didn't have a um, 
this is a scoreboard so I thought this was kind of neat to have it it doesn't hurt to have an extra paper cutter So I thought this was a real nice one. And it shows you um, how to make, you can make the flowers, the paper flowers, and a little box, and a few other things on the back. So I thought that was kind of nice too, making paper flowers. Then I found this particular um, paper book and I thought this one was very interesting and this is whimsical like carnival type paper from the past it's shiny and it's both sided it's printed on both sides The paper sort of reminds me of this old paper um, that used to put some kind of paint and used to rub your fingers on it. Because if anybody remembers, let me know. And if you look closely, you could even see, um, like, there's, like, pink in here, and it's, like, different colors through here. Pink, green, um, faded, to make it look old. And even this has it, too. These are musical notes on here. It's white here and dark on this side. And I guess it starts again, but I have to start from this way. I thought this was kind of nice and then I had found another one. Oh, I think I showed you this one. Oh, well, that's it for today. I think I showed it to you, but if you want to see it again, I thought it was kind of pretty. Um, it sort of goes with the last one, the age. This is 50s. That might have been 30s and 40s. I believe I showed it to you. And here's the number. And that's my haul for this week. Oh, there is one other thing I think you might want to be interested in. In my library, in our local library, they have a sale on books. And the hardcovers are only $2. So I got this book. And it's Familiar Quotes by John Barrett. 
and um, they have all different kinds of uh, famous quotes from authors to actors to inventors to um, whoever is famous that whoever's done something fantastic for the country and the world and they're all in here and um, every year the library gets new ones so they have a lot of sales on their books so I thought this was kind of neat that's about the only thing I could find at the library that was sale that was decent so okay thank you see you soon bye